hello everyone welcome back to another video in today's video this is going to be the registry review for the anatomy part for the abdomen if you go to my ct registry review playlist you will see a lot of videos i have for you to study for your registry so um, for this one we will talk about the anatomy i do have a video where i cover the anatomy more in detail so um, just click on the playlist and you can find all of my ct videos it's going to be under ct slash cqr registry review because i do have lifestyle videos on my page i have other review videos on my page for mri and mammography as well so this is the ct content specification for art that's who i have my license through but you can use these questions to study for any national board exam so since we are looking under anatomy i want you to go down to where you see procedures on this page where the arrow is pointing to it's going to be about 71 questions which is a lot of questions under anatomy so you have to make sure that you know your anatomy about 25 questions is for the abdomen and pelvis if you want me to do the pelvis portion just give the videos a thumb up or you can comment below saying you want more review questions or you want more lessons on whatever topic you need more help with so this lesson will cover questions and answers to help study for the abdomen anatomy section for the ct registry there will be review questions, answers, and explanation in this video. So what to expect in this video? I like to read out the question and answers in all of my videos because sometimes a lot of people aren't, you know, looking at the computer screen. They're doing things in the background or they don't feel like picking up a book or maybe they're working out, they're cleaning up. So I normally just talk through my video, but if it's bothering you hearing the sound, just either turn the sound down or you can mute it. For question one, which anatomy structure is the arrow pointing to? I'll give you a few seconds to think about it and then I'll tell you all the answer. The arrow is pointing to the liver. Also make sure that you know all of the explanations as well because it gives you more information to help you prepare for your registry. So the liver is the largest organ in the abdomen. The liver has metabolic and hematologic regulation and bowel production. Question two, which anatomy structure is the arrow pointing to? The arrow is pointing to the stomach. The stomach is a portion of the digestive system that functions as a food reservoir. It is responsible for breaking down the food. It has a J shape. And if I'm going too fast, you can always just pause the video if you need more time to read the information. Question three, which anatomy structure is the arrow pointing to? The arrow is pointing to the spleen. The spleen is the largest lymph organ in the body. It is part of the lymphatic system and functions as the body's immune response and blood filtration. The primary function of the spleen is to filter blood, remove the old or damaged blood cells, and produce white blood cells to fight infections. Question four, which anatomy structure is the arrow pointing to? The arrow is pointing to the aorta. The aorta is the largest artery in the body. It runs from the heart through the chest and abdomen. The abdominal aorta is the aorta that is located in the abdomen. It extends through the abdomen from the diaphragm to the bifurcation and to the common iliac arteries in the pelvis. The main function of the aorta is to carry oxygen-rich blood from the heart to the organs and tissues of the lower body. Question five, 
What is the name of this image plane? Axial, coronal, oblique, or sagittal? This imaging plane is called the axial imaging plane. And then you can just see an illustration so that it can possibly help you uh, figure out how the slices are being cut for each plane. Question six, which anatomy structure is the arrow pointing to? The arrow is pointing to the bladder. The bladder is an organ that stores urine until it is released from the body. It is located in the pelvis between the hip bones. Question seven, which anatomy structure is the arrow pointing to? The arrow is pointing to the inferior vena cava. It is the largest vein of the body. It carries blood to the heart from the lower limbs of the body. The inferior vena cava meets the common iliac veins at approximately the fifth lumbar or lumbar five. Question eight, which level does the abdominal aorta bifurcate into the right and left common iliac arteries? Is it L2, L3, L4, or L5? L4. So the abdominal aorta bifurcates into the right and left common iliac arteries at the level of L4. That's very important to know that you know your anatomy of your arteries, where it bifurcates, you know, which area it meets at. Question nine, the celiac trunk divides into all of the following branches is SEP, common hepatic artery, left gastric artery, right gastric artery, or splenic arteries. So all of these are true except one. Which one of these is not true? The right gastric artery is not true. So the short celiac trunk is divided into three branches. You have your left gastric artery, common hepatic artery, and splenic artery. Question 10, which anatomy structure is the arrow pointing to? The arrow is pointing to the pancreas. The pancreas is a long, narrow gland that is located in the abdomen and is found behind the stomach. It plays an important role in digestion and blood sugar regulation. It does produce hormones, insulin and glucagon to regulate blood sugar levels. Question 11, which anatomy structure is the arrow pointing to? The arrow is pointing to the right kidney. So make sure that you know, even if you know, hey, this is a kidney, make sure you know if it's pointing to the right kidney or the left kidney. The kidneys are two bean shaped organs that is normally found on the side of the spine. It is below the rib cage. The kidneys function to filter blood to remove waste and excess fluid, which produces urine. Question 12, which anatomy structure is the arrow pointing to? It is pointing to the spleen. Question 13, which anatomy structure is the arrow pointing to? The psoas muscle the right psoas muscle. So the psoas muscles are a pair of long, deep muscles that run from your lower back to the top of your hip bones. All right, thank you all for watching this um, anatomy review lesson. Like I was saying, I do have a lot of videos under my CT slash CQR registry review 
playlist if you want to check them out uh, feel free to do so you can also thumbs up the video or comment to let me know if it's helping you or not if you want more videos or not um, it just motivates me to keep posting if I see that I'm helping someone and um, this right here is the abdomen if you want more just let me know but other than that if you have any other questions let me know and I hope to see y'all in the next video just let me know if you want me to make more bye